classic hits and today's biggest tunes. Six Sounds Radio. So I'm here with Rob Poynton. We just met Prince Charles. Yeah. When I was in Burzum. How was that experience, Rob? Uh, yeah, nerve wracking. Um, yeah. But it's uh, no, it's, I'm really proud to have been given the opportunity to share some words with him in, in Burzum, stood in front of the White Church. And you also presented him with a, one of your books, I think. Yeah, yeah, I just uh, I wanted to give him a record of what we've been doing with the Canal and River Trust, which is another one of his charities. We've kind of produced a body of work touring the canals in, in Britain and we're donating a percentage of all the works to, to his charity there. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, hopefully we'll get to have a look at that. <laughs> I think you discussed this painting just behind us, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I've done this since 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just to try and get a reflection of the day with his visit to Queen Street, and um, yeah, and I think I think he was I think he was into it. <laughs> and you've got previous connections with Prince Charles. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I studied at a drawing school he set up in London. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a young school. I think he set it up around 2000. And I studied there 2004-2005 as a like postgraduate course, and a brilliant school that kind of teaches. Uh, observational drawing, so uh, it gave me the confidence to draw in public and perform in public. Really, uh, we, we draw in the British Museum with people around us and in, in the kind of National Gallery and things, and in the live classes there. And it's it's like drawing is the core of all my artwork, really. And it, that's where a lot of the skills were developed. And that's just something you continue to this day. You're yeah. Always out in the open. Doing yeah. Live yeah. Drawings. Yeah, and there's, uh, there's not that many of us really, but I, I find it a really engaging process, like producing work, like within you know a grasp of the public, you know, where they can come and see the whole process and, and engage with me. Yeah, whilst whilst I'm producing it, and it's something that I want to uh, continue uh, uh, and promote as a process for other artists. I think you get a kind of real uh, vitality to it that you wouldn't if you were producing from a photograph. I think in terms of um, Moving out of the UK, I heard you maybe leaving these shores for a few months. Uh, yeah, got, got crowdfunding. Only, only two uh, two months. So uh, the next project is to um, uh, do some paintings uh, across the pond in the uh, United States. We're doing a, a three weeks in San Francisco, painting on the streets there, and a month in New York with uh, a bit of a trip to kind of Las Vegas in between. But uh, just to try and. Um, Catch all that kind of height and kind of drama of New York, and and try and yeah generate a new audience really. And people can actually back you to get there, can't they? Yeah. And, and yeah. get something for that. Don't tell us about that quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, through a website called Kickstarter, and uh, it's just recently been, been launched in the UK. But it's uh, crowdfunding could be a, a, a new way of kind of funding creative projects uh, where people uh, it's pre-sales really. Like I'm pre-selling. Uh, calendars and postcards of the images I will produce if I get enough funding to go to America and so by people backing it it means the project can actually happen and they get you know a real kind of personal engagement with the work. You know. Okay all the best of that Rob, I think yeah. you're nearly there with that. Yeah right? yeah 84% and I'm just over halfway so uh, through the time limit so uh, I think we should be okay with that. Okay good luck with that and yeah. uh, keep in touch while you're over there. Will do. Cheers Rob. Right, cheers mate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Rob.